carrying on with the lost treasure scene I'm going to do a little bit of very basic texturing in substance painter on my piece of pottery here that I've UV unwrapped all right so I'm going to select my object and choose export FBX I'm going to call it pottery selected objects mesh substance painter I'm going to create a new document 2k select that and bring it in okay there it is the next thing we need to do is to bake the mesh maps I'm going to do this at 2k Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna delete the default layer. Come to Smart Materials. I'm gonna use this pottery stone material. I can't remember if this is a default material that comes with Substance Painter or if I downloaded it from Substance Share. But I'm gonna go ahead and, and use that because it looks looks great to me. Um, I think I'll come in here, however, and change the concrete color to something I don't know that I want to use. I want something that's going to contrast with the sand. I want something like this. I'm gonna go back and see. Uh, actually. I might go for something like that okay so there's my my main layer and put some more dirt on that in a bit um, all right I'm going to make a fill layer and a black mask and I want to use I think just uh, color maybe color and roughness Sort of a whitish color. To paint onto this. I'm going to go into orthographic view here. I'm going to turn on symmetry in the Y. Radial symmetry, 360. Bring the counts all the way up. It's not going to be in the line. There it is. That kind of thing. Okay, now. No. Okie doke. So, um, I'm going to come over to Alphas. Do that right here, actually. And I'm going to search for square and choose this one down here. Bring the hardness all the way up. And I'm going to rotate this 90. All right, so it looks like that. And stuff like that so I'll just adjust my size here and there and I'll put a few a few lines on this thing and get a nice big thick one here and uh, just do a few things this yes I did let's get another shape here a 
see what this is like. This is going to look pretty generic, obviously. But I'll just adjust the size until I get something that I that I like. Yeah, it looks okay there. And then let's go back to uh, back to something square. Let's see what this could do for me. No. Yeah. All right, square again. Yeah. This one. That one probably would have been okay in the first place. Okay, I'm just playing around. I'm not a good artist, as you can tell. <laughs> I don't know. How about that? Mm, let's see. lines that'll do a nice job in these things here just like that Look any good it's getting too busy let's reduce the size of those until we get it Cross. I think I'm just going to do another solid line down here. Here. Let's see uh, if 
I can get one in there. I'll probably have to erase it from the, uh, the handles. Do I want to put something up here? to this just changing my color here and then I'll just come up to the handle and I'll do my best to uh, uh, we're gonna get that are we okay Not too bad I'll turn off symmetry and see if I can just clean the handle up of pottery right there okay let's see let's add another layer black mask and let's go to smart masks and just try uh, a couple of these dirts dirt dry kind of like that pretend that that was that's what we wanted all right I don't know if it looks right with the white there and the red there but let's pretend that that's what we wanted okay so let's export those uh, textures before we do it let's change this to uh, pottery painted and uh, I'm going to um, let's see that's one there oh we have an extra coin here floating in the air 
I'm going to move this to that spot pretty much. I'm going to move it over here. And then I'm going to get rid of this one here. Which is pottery one. And pottery painted is going to take its place. Alright, so that's roughly where it's going to go. Let's come over to the shading tab. And you can see the material on it there. focus just on that guy and the material is this check of grid I don't want that I want uh, pot I'll call this pottery one shift control T with the uh, node wrangler add-on pretty orange but we'll see let's save let's have a look over here let's zoom in on this well I don't know about that but uh, that's what I come up with <laughs> a little small too. I wonder if I need to increase the size of that. I don't think that makes much of a difference but but that's what I've got so far anyhow. Yeah. Okay, well maybe once all this stuff has got some color in it, maybe this won't look so bad, or maybe I'll decide that I want to re redo that. But uh, that's what I—that's what I'm coming up with.